You are now entering the realm of white hot business. This is where we get real about why what happens in the bedroom and your body is a reflection of your business confidence and visibility. I'm your host, sexologist and business mentor, Lauren White, and I'll guide you to become the sovereign, magnetic, and sensual woman that's available for more success and satisfaction. Access all areas. It's time to transform your business from lukewarm to white hot. What would it be like to have your full body yes as your standard for all that you do, all that you be, all that you are in your body, bedroom, and business. What would change for you if you stopped pressing override on your desires and curbed the urge to default to what you think you should do or what you think you have to do? Spoiler alert. Everything would change and everything will change. How do I know? This is the life I have. This is the body I have. This is the bedroom I have and the business I have created. I allow my full body yes, to lead me as much as possible in every facet of my life and business. My full body yes is the standard and pretty soon it's going to be yours too. Once you put this on repeat, once you keep listening, adhering, following, You acclimatize to a new standard and you quickly feel when anything falls short of that. And the desirability of it just non-existent, no longer curious. I'm Lauren White. You know who I am and you know that I know all about the body in all of the contexts. And we are going to go beyond full body yes as a buzzword that people have co-opted. Don't get me started. (laughs) People co-opting terms and just conveniently slotting them into Instagram captions is a bugbear of mine. Full body yes can take time to craft when you've had a lot of conditioning that has never given you the permission that you needed, required in order to live within your full body, yes. So people will bandy about the term and today it's my mission that you finish this episode and you start attuning immediately. We want the action piece. We want the outcome. Of course, we want your nips to be hard. That is my goal for you to... (laughs) finish this episode and have hard nips. Before your nips get hard, we have to talk about what is getting in the way of you being in your fullest yes. We need to go there because otherwise we're going to be putting glitter on top of a pile of and we don't want to do that. We want the glitter part, but we've got to make some space for it. We've got to clean the energy up. We've got to plug the leaks so that the glitter truly shines. You have had a problem with sourcing and fully being in your full body, yes, because as a little girl, You were taught to be good. You were taught that the rules were the most important thing. You taught, you were taught that the invisible rule book was the most important thing, that making sure that everyone else is comfortable is the most important thing. And what happened in that process is your inner whispers and inner knowing and experiencing of that knowing through your body was snuffed out was squashed. 
And when that inner knowing is told, shh, again and again and again and again, it inevitably goes quiet. It can't roar and act as the incredible protective signal that it is when it's been told again and again and again it's not welcome and that all of the power, attention and energy needs to go back into your head because the head knows and logic reigns. All that's happened is all of the beautiful wiring in your body and all of the electrical pulses have flowed up into your head to bow down to the master that is your mind and the rules and the logic and A plus B equals C. And does this make sense? Full body yes has a near absence of logic and that's why it's so unfamiliar and uncomfortable for you if you've had a taste of it. It's like, what? And then your brain goes, but, 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 logic, 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 boom, boom, boom. So the no, the no that you've experienced to your desires is partly because of a result of that conditioning that you went through, trying to be good, trying to make sure everyone's comfortable, ignoring your own needs, wants, and desires, being willing to tolerate high levels of discomfort because nothing is more important than making sure everyone else is comfortable. And I'm going to give a little shout out to academia as well. Nearly all of my clients have been through the rungs of academia and they are incredibly bright I can relate (laughs) as someone who did several tertiary (laughs) degrees and the mode and the operating system you need to be in in academia is in your head. You're not writing essays about full body sensations. You are going into your head. You're doing the research. You're making sure everything adds up and being in suspended periods of that kind of energetic state is reduces your opportunities to be fully present in your body. You're sitting there drinking caffeine, scrolling out, typing out your essays, looking at the literature, going back and forth, maybe going into big head-based flow states, and there's just this disregard of your body. And it takes time to unravel from that. And the third reason that you're not familiar with your full body yes yet is trauma. It's incredibly pervasive when it comes to learning our consent, our full yes, our full no, because that option was taken away from us. If we couldn't say no, if we couldn't say yes, then those wires inevitably get crossed and there's a sense of confusion. There's a sense of being ungrounded, untethered, not knowing what to decide, not knowing what is best for us because the opportunity to learn that got taken away. And now you get to take the power back. You get to learn where your yes is and where your no is. We're going to do both. There's something that I say in permission is source your no, find your yes. Source your no, find your yes. In permission, I talk a lot about how to give yourself the green light to be sexual as you are. And One of the key questions I put in permission is when you ask someone a question, are you positioning that question to get a certain answer? Are you hoping that they answer in a certain way because you need that permission from them? I want you to know if you are doing that, 
If you are going, what do you think? Should I do this or should I do this? And all the time you're going, please, please say option A, say option A, please, 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 please. And then I'll use what they say is my green light to affirm. That's when you know that you already know. When you're kind of faux positioning two options or three options that you have. Should I do this or should I do that? Please say yes. Please say this one. Please say this one. So you already know. So I, I'm saying that to you now so that you realize you already have a knowing. You just do. It's not up for debate. Everyone listening already has a knowing. Otherwise, you wouldn't be where you are. But now we get to refine it and elevate it. And it starts with knowing your no. If the term people pleaser rings true for you, then that tells me that you are pleasing, you are acting a certain way and subscribing to certain roles or expectations in order to synthetically please other people in the bedroom and in your business. So this is the shadow of your little girl, your little good girl operating system still coming through, even though you are a red-blooded woman now. So if you are people-pleasing in your business, we don't jump straight to what your yes is. You need to learn your no first. And that's scary, right? That's That can be really daunting. But you know what? Your no is a liberator. It is a course corrector. It is, it's a refiner. It is so elegant. And I'm not going to give you simplistic advice like just say no or no is a full sentence as if that is going to land with you. It's such like unfulfilled advice. There's no substance to it. So what I want to know is if no were an action in your body, what would it feel like? What would it sound like? What would it look like? Immediately, I can tell you my no feels like irritation. And like the words like I can't be bothered or I just don't want to, like quickly come up through my body. I don't want to. I can't be bothered. I'm not interested. It's so boring. Something like that comes up for me. Or on a deeper level, I can feel so irritated. It's like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not willing to do that. That is not an integrity for me. I feel my shoulders slump. It feels like an internal eye roll. That irritation, notice irritation and frustration. Left unchecked, Irritation and frustration lead to anger, bitterness, and resentment. Irritated, frustrated, you get angry, and then you just get bitter and resentful. It's like you get so deflated from the anger, it's not even passionate and fiery and action-orientated anymore. You just collapse, And you just subscribe to what's given to you or what you think you have to do. When you have your own business, you get to decide. So what are the repetitive, undesirable feelings that you keep allowing in your business? What feels like an internal eye roll? What feels like frustration? What feels like what what is on repeat? This is what I've asked my clients. I say, what is the thing that's on repeat? We're going to do that first. We're not going to go for the once a year thing. We're going to go for the daily irritation. The thing that happens over and over and over, that is where your no is. You need to find that first because it's going to help you find, source, 
take action on your yes. So what is causing irritation? What is making you frustration? What's giving you the shits? What are you having a hissy fit about in your business? That keeps happening. We go there first. Not just the one-off, ah, this thing happened. It's crap. Frustrated. Thought this thing was going to come through. It didn't. Go to the repetition. And what happens in your body? And I guarantee it goes small in some way. It contracts in some way. It drops in some way. You don't feel a no and feel fizzy and uplifted. You feel a no and you feel a density, a heaviness, a ugh, an eye roll. You're looking at the clock. You're trying to get someone out of your space. So the first step to being And accessing your full body yes is to know your full body no. This is what the red-blooded woman does who has a white-hot business. She knows her no first. Okay. When you know your no, you can then be in the power of your sovereignty. And if you want to know more about your sovereignty and how the sovereign speaks, I have an incredible on-demand program called White Hot Power. So go check that out after today's episode. When you know your no, you can then create language around how to be clear, kind, and honest with people because being nice isn't actually a kind action. What it says is, I don't respect myself enough to set this line or boundary with you or make this request. So I'm going to role model that it's okay for you to do whatever you want with me because I'm not going to object. You can take more time. You can take all of this. You can do all of that. You can pay late. You can stay extra after the session's actually done. No, no more. No more. Source your no. Let people know in advance what your expectations are when they work with you, how they pay you, how they communicate with you, and you don't have problems to mop up later on and you don't have energy leaks. They're all plugged straight from the get-go. And you don't even have to say no to people for anything because you've set the clear guidelines from the start. That's where your power is. That's what the sovereign woman does. Let's shift gears. We know you know. We know you slump. We know you probably drop or feel heavier uh, in some way. Let's feel into the opposite of that. What does a full body yes feel like and how do you get one? How do you get one? It's like an orgasm. How do you get one? I want one. (laughs) I want a full body yes. Yes, you do. It starts with being attuned to moments of desire. Those small moments in time where you want something, where you just want what you want and you don't rationalize it and you don't explain it and you don't justify it. It's just you want something. There's a small inkling. There might be a nudge. There might be a whisper and you want to follow that whisper. Like it's like it's irresistible. It's incredibly seductive. Follow it. Follow the desire and just be curious about it. You don't have to pay anything yet. You don't have to give your life's commitment or devotion to that thing. Just follow it and see where it goes. Here's where it gets sticky for so many women. They know that they have desires, but they don't do the follow through part. They're so scared of making a mistake. They're so scared that following on from their desire is going to make someone else uncomfortable, right? And there's this deep fear that you following your yes is going to mean someone gets denied, someone 
will get a no. Like so many smart women have this tally in their mind, this tally board of like, when I get what I want, someone's left without. It's not true. What if your full body yes multiplies the full body yes in everyone's life that you touch? Because that's my experience of it. What if your full body yes is so surplus and so abundant that it just creates multiplication rather than what your brain thinks, which is subtraction? and less than, and scarcity. So it starts with you listening and hearing the whispers of desire or the push or the lift or the, woof, the, your solar plexus just jolting towards something, your nips getting hard, your pupils dilating. Here's that sticky bit I mentioned before, but we're going to make it like yummy, sticky, runny, honey. (laughs) You gotta lick it. You gotta lick your. This is the moment where you have the honey on your fingers, the desire is there, and you lick it. There comes a point where you have to commit and you have to follow through. What will happen if you don't follow through when you start getting the yes is again, your your yes will just go quiet and you'll feel like the living dead. Why is that woman so full of life? And why is she in her fullest expression? And how come saying yes to life is so easy for her? It probably was hard at one stage and it's not anymore because she kept following it. And it requires you to take a risk, what I call an embodied risk. You've got to be okay with going, ah, that didn't quite work how I wanted it to or how I thought it would. Or actually, I've got so much more clarity on that desire now. I just realized it's got me following this thing instead. Follow the breadcrumbs. It's not always about the initial desire. It's about where that desire takes you to the bigger desire that's awaiting you. Follow the breadcrumbs. This is how desire builds and how your full, how you build to a full body yes. It's like you start with a yes in your pinky and then you can move to a yes that feels like it's in your whole hand and then your whole heart and chest and it blooms from there. We're not going from my body is frozen, I don't know my no, I don't know my yes to white, hot, red-blooded, full tingly yes, there's stages to it. You're acclimatizing to it. So take the small aspects of desire seriously, follow them, and you'll start to get more into that full body yes. Also, what's going to prime you for a full body yes is being clear in your body. You need to move your yet. Yeah, move your yes. <laughs> you need to move your yes. You need to move your body. A stuck, stagnant body can't feel a yes like a body that moves, that has flow, that is nimble. So how you move and the variety of movement that you do as a part of being responsible for this incredible vessel that conveys so much information to us about our passions and our desires and our businesses, you have to treat that with so much respect. Your body is informing and building your business. So much of it. And the question is, how are you honoring it? How are you turning your body on with what you do, how you move, and how you nourish it. So the clearer your body in terms of the low level of toxins that enter it and the aligned movement it undertakes and the health status of your body, the clearer the signals and electrical currents. When I get unwell, if I have a flare-up in my autoimmune condition, the signals get harder to hear. So I have to take my health so seriously in order to feel the signals and currents. And the more I feel the signals and currents, the bigger my business can grow 
in the ways that I desire it to. And remember, growth for me doesn't always mean monetary profit. It also means depth, depth, relationships, connections, power, pleasure, alignment. There's so much to that statement. And my full body, yes. If you want to hear an example, if you've been out of touch with yours for a while or it's your first time, my full body, yes, feels like an unequivocal pull to something. It is magnetized to an opportunity. And I often, I feel the yes, maybe before the sentence is even finished or the offer is even finished. And it happens fast now because I've played with it over the years. And the bigger the risks I took when I felt that yes, the easier it got to follow them and the more likely the success with what I said yes to. Okay, I'm going to repeat that. The more I listened to my yes and the bigger and bolder the risks I took in alignment with that yes, the more I got yes signals and therefore the more success I have in my business and in my bedroom as well. So my full body yes feels like tingles. It's goosebumps running down my legs. That is how the big you communicates something is a full yes. I get them up and down my legs and I've had them for the last three or four years or so. As I've mentioned before, I'm claircognizant, so I just know things. So I just know, not in my head, but I just know in my soul, in my pussy, in my essence, that I want to do something. I go, yeah, obviously, I want to do that. And I'm really, it's a really great timing that I'm sharing this with you because I did have an experience of a massive full body yes to something quite edgy um, within the last few weeks at the time of recording. And it's really not the most logical, practical, responsible decision I could make. And I know that my body said a full yes to it because it's in such trust of the multiplication that will come from following that opportunity I got. So my yes comes through my body And it presses override on logic. And it's like, I just have to make this happen. Like, I don't, I don't, I often don't feel like I have an option, but that doesn't have me feeling trapped at all. It's like this beautiful focal point. And I go, I have to make this happen. I need to make magic. And what can happen in business when you get your full body yes is, you attract on a whole different level clients. Um, you can get incredible downloads for other offers that you want to put out there because you're not playing small. When you go big and bold with something that gets your full body, yes, it often positions you to make magic in new and exhilarating ways that you weren't doing when you were completely comfortable and comfortable in the smallness and the plodding along and the plateau. So trust that following the full body yes, and if it feels like there's a risk, it's going to feel, it's going to feel risky, of course, because it's unfamiliar. But can you also go, I wonder what multiplication is going to come from this opportunity? And congruence, that congruence piece is there. Are you being congruent? Are you telling people in your work to take risks? Are you giving them this advice? Oh my God, yes, of course you should do that. And are you not doing it for yourself? So it's really important that as the sovereign business owner, you go first and you get out of your people pleasing mode that is contorting you and having you out of touch with your no, with your yes. And to start being clear and aligned so that you can make more profit in your beautiful business. Profit in every definition. So how important is it that you access your full body no and your full body yes? It is imperative. 
It warrants action today. And it starts with noticing how your body responds when an opportunity or a proposition comes your way. And to then do the brave thing and decline if there's a no or find an alternative that works better for you, you're worthy of something working for you. And conversely, to feel the tingle of a yes or the lift or the pupil dilation of a yes and to follow it and to get curious about it and to get playful with it. Start small and build it up. Your full body yes is soon going to be your standard for all that you do and be and all of who you are in your body, bedroom and business. You will not look back from this because it is one of the keys to giving you a turned on white hot business. 